door shut because it never wants to stay shut. It is four o'clock in the morning. Yes, I have a fire extinguisher in my house. Everybody should. Anyways, it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm awake making some 4 a.m. French toast in the microwave. Don't get too excited. And I just glanced out my fucking kitchen window. There is something lighting up in my garage. Something glowing red in my garage. I am afraid that it could be something... Because, like, by the way, I just took lipstick off, so my lips look blue. I promise I'm fine. Um, my worry is that it looks like the glow of something, like, heating up. But also, at the same time, I'm kind of trying to tell myself that, like... Epps has been down here. He's looked out the window like he's made food like multiple times before he went to bed. I'm kind of sure that if there was something out there, he would have seen it and known what it was and not care. Like maybe I shouldn't worry about it because he's not worried about it. But I am fucking worried about it. If I fucking die going to look at what's glowing in my garage at 4.15 a.m., I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Well, the backyard is nice and lit up, so that's good at least. It's like I said, I assume. God, I should have put shoes on. What if I need to run? <laughs> I should have put shoes on. <laughs> okay. I see what it is. I'll show you guys. Jesus Christ. I wonder if Epps came out here and looked too. It's a damn thing from the bike lighting up. Hold on. It's the reflector from this bike lighting up. That. Jesus Christ, that was so brave. For no reason. For no goddamn reason. That was so stupid. I'm so stupid. But you know what? If you're going to embarrass yourself, you may as well do it at 4 a.m. And you also may as well do it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, but look how perfectly, like, obviously there's a curtain in front of this. Look how perfectly the light is hitting that. Now what the fuck? Epps and I slept in entirely too late. And I just went to pack my Depop orders. I've got three to pack. And realized I don't have any tape, for one. And for two, I don't have anything to wrap all three things in. I have a box for one, wrapping for another. I need more. So he just had to go to the store and I'm just going to sit here and look at the assortment of stickers that I'm picking out. I always put one sticker in each order and I I'm, I feel like I'm trapped. I feel like I can't move because I'm surrounded by packing supplies. Um, so I'm just sitting here Sorting through my stickers, figuring out which one I want to put with which thing. Twiddling my thumbs, waiting for him to get back. Okay, I've never packed like a fragile item before. Like I've never packed anything that was like in constant danger of being broken. And I've mailed out like cameras and shit. And I feel like way more nervous about mailing out a teacup and a tea plate than I did about mailing out a camera. I might have overdone it a little bit on the bubble wrap, but it this is a okay, this is a fucking learning process. And also I feel like it would be devastating to get your stuff in the mail and it be broken. So if you if you ordered this because you are a, a YouTube subscriber, this is the sticker that you're getting. Sorry. Sorry to ruin it for you. And also I'm not gonna change it out because if you see it and you like it, I don't wanna like I don't want to, like, disappoint you if you get it and it's not the same one. I feel like I definitely probably overdid it, like, with the bubble wrap, but oh well. I just recently started selling, like, some of my Killstar dinnerware and, like, Halloween-themed uh, dinnerware on Depop. So, I have no idea how to pack it. I have no idea how to pack it and I'm terrified. So, <laughs> You know how I pack the clothes orders? We don't have, this is our last uh, one. So that's why Epps is picking up a $1 roll of uh, 
like it, it's the, it's this basically and it looks like a roll of fucking what's it called wrapping paper because that's exactly what it is but this is our last one of these um until we go back to the grocery store i literally put stuff in uh aldi bag and roll it and tape the back and there you go. I always uh, joke that it kind of looks like something that you would pick up from a butcher. And one time I made the comment that I felt silly because you can see the Aldi's Lego. Uh, Lego. The Aldi's Lego. Logo. And the guy at the post office was like, we have people bring shit in here that are wrapped in McDonald's wrappers. Like not even the plastic bag. Like literally a McDonald's sandwich wrapper. But also, just put the stuff in there, uh, fold it, and tape it right there. Send it out. Very fancy. This is bugging the shit out of me. It's a spider. I don't know why it's bothering me. It just looks like something in the corner. <clears throat> I'm waiting for my phone to charge up. And then Epps and I are going to go for a walk with Wen. Uh, listen, you guys want to hear something super shitty that happened this morning that was just like the most excellent thing that could ever fucking happen? By the way, you're on my shitty tripod, so you're going to be a little bit wobbly. So we woke up this morning to discover that somebody had gotten a hold of Epps' debit card information and put it, they had to have put it in their phone. And just was rapid fire charging things to the Google Play Store. I mean, one after another after another. So we had to call the bank and cancel his card. And we have to wait. I guess we have to wait for the charges to go through all the way to dispute it and hope we can get our money back. Like, honestly, like, honestly, it like, if this was an adult that did this if it was an adult that got a hold of his debit card numbers and put them in their android phone and used them on the google play store did your toddler get a hold of your phone by the amount of fucking rapid fire charges that were happening did your toddler do that like you're an asshole obviously for taking my husband's debit card number but like it honestly reminded me of this one time When D was like five years old, he heard me whisper. Okay, whisper, whisper. Like this, whisper. My Apple password. And got on an iPad, probably like two days later, got on an iPad and bought almost $800 worth of coins from a generic Five Nights at Freddy's game to spend on outfits to dress up his character the charges on his bank account remind me of little five-year-old d just rapid fire buying coins because he wanted to get a specific outfit for his character like obviously i don't like you and you're an asshole for doing that but did, did your kid get a hold of your phone by the way when when that happened I found out that Apple has an entire, like, like, whatever for when that shit happens because it's so common. Yeah, for kids to get a hold of their parents' passwords and do that. Just ring, just charge it up. Just charge it up. But because of that, it only took me like a day and a half to get our money back. <laughs> Look, baby, I'm doing what you usually do. I'm doing what? I'm doing what you usually do. Yeah. I don't like how I look. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Well, we're outside. 
I suppose as a U.S. content creator, I should acknowledge that it's 9-11, and I do have a lot of people that follow me that are not from the U.S. Um, that is the anniversary of the attacks that happened in the U.S. back in 2001. Uh, my acknowledgement will go as follows. I was 12 when it happened, so I do remember it very vividly, unfortunately. I don't have many memories from my childhood, but the ones that I do have are all bad, and that is one of them. I was not in my sixth grade yearbook because our picture day was on September 12th and my parents did not want me in school. But the thing that sticks out to me the most is that growing up, I had a best friend that was Lebanese. And as you can imagine, she as a child, uh, was tormented for actions that had absolutely nothing to do with her. So I can't talk about it too much because I have all the salt in the sea in me about it. So I'm just going to shut up about it. There's my acknowledgement. Wow, I don't know how my eyeliner survived that video that I just watched about all of the doggies that helped with 9-11. It made... I spiraled. <laughs> I spiraled. I uh, I just looked up why does blonde hair wash me out so bad because it does. It does. It washes me out so fucking bad. And I looked it up and it was like, if your blonde hair is washing you out, that means the shade that you have is too light for you and you should darken it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ultimately, I'm going to do whatever I want, regardless of whether it, like, fits my color palette or whatever. So I don't even fucking know why I looked that up. Why did I look that up? What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I was just watching my vlog, vlog back. When I tell you, bitch, I'm done. I mean it, bitch, I'm done. I'm bleaching my upper lip. I'm fucking over it and done. It's not on the list of things that I can do anymore. I can't do it. <laughs> Are you ready to chemical burn my upper lip for the sake of vanity? Because I sure the hell... It, the 50% am, 50% am not. Like, this could go really, really, really badly. Hello. I was just walking down the street, walking on top of one of my sandal straps, while the other one flapped behind me like a fucking toddler. And I got bit by a bug on the back of my ankle, and it sucks. And all this happened after I just absolutely destroyed uh mcdonald's hot caramel sundae so my belly really appreciates all the movement but do you guys remember that cashier that i told you about about her like asking me if i cut my hair and i told her that i wear wigs and then she said like what do you, she didn't say like her exact words were i know that people like to stereotype people sorry i'm watching i'm watching this guy he's a fucking I don't know if he's a creep, but he looks like one. Anyways, um, she was like, I know people like to stereotype people with tattoos, but I think you're really pretty. And that has lived rent-free in my mind ever since that happened because there's a lot of words that would be more appropriate for that, like nice or something similar, you know, but pretty. <laughs> Anyways, um, as soon as she saw me, she was like, oh my God, you're blonde today. And it's like, just because you know that I wear a wig now, doesn't mean that you have to like bring it up every time that it changes like how many people are you around that that fascinates you so much and also like would you do that if other people were around because i have to wonder there wasn't anybody there but us but like that's the shittiest part about like people finding out that you wear wigs she was like oh my god i never would have guessed i never would have known you're full of shit you're full of shit but i also don't care if people can tell that i'm wearing a wig because i am I am! It probably looks like I'm wearing a wig because I am wearing a wig. But why bring it up? Why point it out now that you know, you know? I do not feel good. 
<laughs> at all. I don't know why. I had to get my birth control while I was there. Apparently, like I went the other day and I picked up my medication and it wasn't with it. And I was like, what the hell? Cause I'm supposed to start like my last placebo is today. I'm supposed to start my birth control again tomorrow. And it wasn't in there. And the lady was like, it's not on auto refill. If I didn't feel so shitty without it, I would forget. Anyways, this is what I get, get it, got. This is what I get. This is what I bought. It's extra strength, which I'm not sure if I need because I don't have a lot of hair. I just have a lot of discoloration. Should I be doing this in one of my favorite dresses? Will this bleach my clothes? Probably. Shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. Gently wash area, done. Dry thoroughly, done. Saturate a cotton ball with preconditioner and smooth over entire area to be bleached. Allow to dry. Can do. Oh God. Oh God, I'm burning up. I need to turn on the AC so bad, but it's so late. Oh my God, I thought this was gonna be like a cream and it's not. I thought this was gonna be like, like a, like a, like a conditioner. And it's more like an alcohol. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> I literally was tilting that gently and quickly. <sighs> I'm not good at these types of things. Also ignore the fact that you can see the sides of my dark hair. This is why I was hesitant in buying a blonde wig. By the way, I'm really bad at math. I'm very bad at math. It says using the ML scale on the mixing cup, per, pour powder activator into the 5 ml line. I can do that. I can, we're doing it. I haven't even fucking opened it, but we're doing it. This is, this is fucking powder. Okay. Okay. Where's the 5 ml at? I'm not putting my glasses back down. 5 ml. I see two. Okay. It's like barely, there's like barely any that's going to go in there. I don't want to breathe it in. Don't breathe it in. Okay. I can't breathe it in. Uh, what the fuck? Why wasn't I expecting that? The bitch, what the hell? I'm telling you. I love experiencing new things. Okay, 5ml. I am not going to eyeball this like I would if I was like bleaching my hair. Because this is my fucking mouth. And I don't want to burn my mouth. I think that... Oh, no. I don't want to burn my mouth. I think that's about right. <laughs> yeah, I hope that's about right. Okay, so now we have to squeeze this shit in here up to the 15 ml. Now, how in the hell? I'm just going to say that's enough. I, you know what? I don't really feel like getting a chemical burn on my fucking face today. So we're just going to say that that's enough. How are you supposed to accurately measure that whenever it doesn't like lay flat? You know what I mean? Like what the hell? I'm sure this is going to smell great. Epps just texted me. I just saw a notification on my phone that there was like close to $9 taken out of my bank account. Epps just texted me, or I just texted Epps. I was like, what did, what did you get at CVS for $8? And he was like, your, your bleach. I was like, uh, uh, uh. I mean, I guess if this goes well, we can, we, we always have more. I really need to. I really need to bleach my soul patch too, but I don't want to get it on my, I don't want to get it on my, uh, my, my Libre. Oh my God. Eight minutes? Eight minutes? This video is going to be such a late upload. I feel like fucking Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan Corp. It's like falling off my mouth. How is this doing anything? It's falling off my fucking face. Epps just got home. I'm hoping he can make it inside before I have to take this off in exactly one minute and four seconds. I hear him. I hope he comes upstairs so that I can ask him if he thinks I look pretty. 
Do I look pretty? Yeah, you look gorgeous, baby. You're lying. I think... I look like Hulk Hogan! You look like a super hot version of Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I don't know. Colonel Sanders was super hot. Was hot I look chick. like fucking Hulk Hogan. I look like if they gender swapped Hulk. <laughs> I don't see any difference. Baby, does my mustache look like it's mustache -y? Baby, I don't ever think you have a mustache. I literally don't see any difference whatsoever. It's like none! Ah! What a waste of money. Wait. I don't see a mustache, baby. Well, I guess it kind of looks a little bit better. What a waste of 10 minutes of my life. Eight dollars. I can I can go down there and be like, all right, give me the ten minutes back. Put the ten minutes in the bag. All right, do you want to say bye? Yes. Just say boy. Boy. <laughs>